I'm just going to make this short and sweet. Green Bay got their asses kicked. All right. I mean, there's nothing really much else for me to say besides 49ers dominating this game on both sides of the field, offense and defensively. Green Bay can do absolutely nothing. They couldn't get any space. Any space. Whenever the ball was out of Aaron Rodgers' hands, a 49ers lineman or a defensive back was right there. They were ready. They were ready every time that ball was snapped. Pressure was coming in Aaron Rodgers' face. These receivers, these running backs, these tight ends for Green Bay, they couldn't get open. Nothing could happen. Nothing. All right? They got held to eight points. That's it. And if you take away the yards, all right, the Aaron Rodgers got sacked. It says 104, but he got held to 78 yards passing. If you take away the sack yards, that is pretty damn embarrassing. All right, I had Green Bay coming into this game winning. I didn't expect them to get dominated like this. I admit this 49ers defense as a lead. It's right there with New England. They're one and two. Um... It's the reason why they both sit at the top of their conferences, New England and San Francisco, both sitting at 10-1. and 1. Imagine that Super Bowl matchup. We could get it. It's possible. We'll see later on down the line in the season. I thought the 49ers would fall off, but they're proving me wrong. I thought they would fall off um, towards the end of the year, but they're looking great. I mean, it's nothing negative I can say about this team. Jimmy Garoppolo, he didn't turn over the ball. He did fumble it, but thanks to Tevin Coleman, he recovered it. He played a phenomenal game. George Kittle, big 61-yard touchdown reception tonight. He had a monster game, and he's playing with a broken bone in his ankle. Like, this guy is a freak. He's one of the best tight ends in the league. Right there with Zach Ertz, right there with Kelsey. I mean, this guy can do everything. He can block. He can catch the ball. I mean, he just does everything at a phenomenal rate. Like I said, one of the best tight ends in the league. Um, as for Green Bay, their next two opponents are easy. The Giants and the Redskins, they should dominate them. They should finish the season 13-3. This should be their last loss. This should be their last loss. They should beat the Giants and the Redskins. They should beat the Bears. They should beat the Lions. And they should beat the Vikings if they take care of business. They should finish 13-3. So this should be their last loss of the season. As for the 49ers, they got two tough opponents. Next week, they got that boy, Lamar Jackson, Action Jackson, and the Ravens. And then after that, they got the Saints. So that's two opponents coming up that are very tough that they're going to have to play. But they're capable of winning that game. Tonight proved it. This season proved it the way that they've been playing. They have been playing phenomenal this year. And Jim Garoppolo is starting to pick up his play, playing better. So props to him, props to the first coordinator. Props to everybody over there on San Francisco. They're just playing a phenomenal game each and every week throughout this season. It's nothing I can say that's negative from this team. Um, they just been dominating. It's scary. This defense is scary. It's elite, man. I'm telling you. Like I never seen Aaron Rodgers look like that. I mean, in the past he had a game where he finished from like 75 yards, I think, or some shit. Tonight was bad. It was ugly. So, that being said, that's it for me, man. The 49ers, they take care of business. They dominate. They improve the 10-1. Packers fall to 8-3. Tied the Vikings for first place in the NFC North. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a video. And hit the links in the description. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Follow me on all my social media. I will see you guys for Thursday. We got a lot of big games, all right? See y'all for Thanksgiving on Thursday. It's going to be lit. Peace out.